A quick thank you to WD-40 for sponsoring this video. Somebody's enjoying the air conditioning. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today we are standing in front of the 7600. We have the Rhinoag PT419H hooked on, the Rhinoag tether. And we're gonna be going out and tedding some of the hay that we cut. So we're trying to get this stuff made before the rain comes. Um, so far we're making pretty good time. Some of the stuff is so thick that it needs to be tedded out. So by tedding it, we're hoping that we can kind of pick it up off the ground, let it aerate a little bit, spread the stuff around, and bring that moisture level down to a level that's reasonable. So I'm not totally sure what our plan is after this. Uh, I'm not gonna go be going down to Travis's place and uh, tedding that down there. That stuff was pretty light. So if we were to ted it, there wouldn't be much benefit from doing so. Um, I think it's gonna dry pretty well. We're gonna wait till tomorrow and see what it looks like then. But everything out of my place, um, the Klein pasture, my field, the 40, that pa small pasture field out there, as well as the stuff out of my place, um, all that new seating and stuff definitely needs to be tetted because it's, it's thicker. So after this, once we get this stuff bailed, we're gonna be coming through and spraying it to hopefully get a decent last cutting in September. So I'm just fueling up now. Rocket and I are about to head out to my place and start tedding. It's a blistering hot day out. It's great hay drying weather. And it's a great day to sit in a tractor cab with AC, that's for sure. What's exposed to the sun is drying real nice. I can look across the field and see some of the mirage the heat effect that's coming up off the ground there's just so much heat which is a good thing let's get started i gotta pull this rope because there's locks on each wing This stuff is drying really nice. What's not drying are the ragweeds. But I'd say that this could probably go tomorrow even, but we've got two or three days until we really need to worry about making it. So I say let it sit as long as you can to get it as dry as you can. Going through and tending it's gonna dry out Ones like that. Probably what's messing us up is the waterway here. There's a lot of ragweed in it. Like right here. Ooh, that's a thistle. Now that we're done at the Klein field, we're gonna move out to the 40 and then finish up at my place.
that's not good. so far so we're gonna head back back to the farm call our day So you can see I got it out there. I already went to Grant Equipment this morning and tried to get bearing replacements and they can't get any of those in until the end of the week. So I gotta wait to put the tire back on there. You can see the, the casing of the bearings here go inside. Um, they had open-ended bearings. They said it should have been all right, but for how fast these gave out i want to put closed bearings in there so i don't have to worry about dirt getting in there so how it goes on the tether is that there's a bearing on each side of the wheel you can kind of see it there um and there's a spacer in the middle so one here one on the other side and it's just one nut that holds the wheels on the shaft so once those come in i'll get those put back on um we got the spacers off and everything because the bearings were completely missing so here's the old bearings now I had to use the WD-40 specialist penetrant spray to get in there and get those bearings out because they were pretty much packed in and uh, had to take a chisel to get them out I went to Grant Equipment in Cuba City and got four bearings uh, since each wheel has two. Uh, I got two as a backup because I believe it was this side. They were also going bad on it, so we just changed those. But um, Travis got these on while Dad and I were knocking out trees at my place, so that video is going to be coming out very soon um, once all the videos of making hay get out. So now the tether is ready to go again. We got the new tines put on. These were about nine bucks a piece. Those bearings were 15, which is why we only did the two tires. Um, figured I might as well wait until those ones go bad before I worry about them. So now the tether is ready to go for a third crop. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work and be sure to stay tuned as we merge slash rake and bale this hay. I'll see you next time.